Hey, what's up guys? It's me, The Soul Purpose, and I'm coming at you with another video. Today I wanted to share with you my making of the Nickelodeon Rugrats Reptar Bars. I am doing this for fun for the first time. I do not know really what I'm doing other than just using my imagination and pretty much having a good time. With that being said, please do remember that there is no right or wrong answers. Anything that you do is based upon what you like to add and subtract. If you are under the age of 18, I suggest that you have some kind of parent supervision or somebody who is at least the age of 18 plus and can use a oven. With that being said guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this. Here are pretty much the ingredients of what we would need to make the Reptar bars. Uh, you can use different things. I found this today and I figured I can make little baby reptars as you guys can see. And I got this cookie cutter that's pretty much of a dinosaur so we can use it as a reptar bar. And I tried to find something that would be the equivalent of a candy bar but unfortunately I found this. So we're going to work with what we have for the most part. Alrighty guys, so to cook up the chocolate, you can either use your stove or your microwave. With the microwave, you pretty much put it in for 30 seconds, take it out and stir, do it a few times, make sure the chocolate doesn't harden. And with the stove, I suggest that you have somebody that's over 18, a parent or an older sibling or something like that, if you aren't allowed to use the stove. And you pretty much get two pots, you make a double boiler, you put water in the first pot, and then you pretty much boil the water and that will heat up the next pot which will cook in up the chocolate and you stir it again you make sure it doesn't harden up and then you just put it in your moldings Alright, so while the other Reptar bars are setting in the freezer, we decided, as I mentioned before, to try to make these little baby Reptars. It's going to be a little difficult, and with this molding as well, it's going to be a little difficult. But for the most part, it is going to be fun, and I'm looking forward to trying it out, even if it becomes a mess or a little disaster.
Okay, everyone, we are officially done with the Reptar bars. This is what we pretty much got. I definitely would have expected it to taste a lot better as a little kid. My imagination and my cooking skills do not meet the same requirements, but it was definitely fun and I definitely had a blast. I tried to put the labels on, but as you see, it's kind of an ice cream bar rather than a chocolate bar. And I tried to look for those moldings, but I couldn't find it. But for the most part, I definitely had fun and I can't wait to possibly do it again in the future. Maybe this time I'll be much more prepared and maybe I'll make another video. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And these were definitely good. You can see the green goo, the caramel, the almonds. It was definitely cool. So I can't wait for you guys to try this yourself. I would definitely leave the label pronounced in the description so you guys can make them yourself. I also got that from a YouTuber. And with that being said, I'm out guys, later.